Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. And you join me today from Joe Curran Commercials here in Oldcastle in County Meath in Ireland. I'm here today to show you all around this Peterbilt American truck. So we'll be checking out the exterior first, then I'll hop inside and go down through all the interior controls, and then I'll be taking it out on the road for a test drive. So finally, I get an American truck for the channel. So let's check it out guys and see how it drives. Starting off with the exterior first then. Now looking around this truck, you would think it's actually older than it is, but this is from 2001, this Peterbilt. So the cab itself is actually quite narrow when you compare it to the sleeper. That is the wider part of the cab. But yeah, you can sit in the driver's seat and literally reach over and touch the passenger side window. So yeah, that is how the American trucks look, but very mean looking on the exterior, aren't they? And it looks quite good with the stacks out the back. All the chrome and the stainless steel finish on these American trucks looks quite well. So you'll see there we have this cover on the front grille just to stop all of those flies from damaging the grille. So that's quite good and this little finish all around the top and the bottom of it. Uh, the Peterbilt. So yeah, that would look nice if it was polished up, um, that finish on the grille. But these mirrors are quite nice as well just to uh, give you vision in front of the truck. So I'll show you what they look like uh, from inside the cab. They are quite good on the Peterbilt, <laughs> the snowman. And yeah, the aluminium wheels front and rear on the 6x4. So yeah, the big filters and loads of lights at the side. There's even lights inside in these filters as well. So yeah, um, nice shiny finish on this American truck. So we'll see what it sounds like shortly when we start it up. So your batteries are in behind the steps. We have two 550 liter diesel tanks. And you see this door at the side here, very handy. We have a ventilation door there and also one up on top. Very good for venting out the cab with all those hot American temperatures that they get. And underneath the bunk here, we have storage in at the back. Quite a big storage compartment and your big sleeper. We'll walk through that shortly. So yeah, let's just close that up and have a look around the chassis. So this is quite nicely done as well on the mud guards. Really does brighten it up. Now that's not the original fifth wheel. Uh, there would have been a different fifth wheel on this truck from new. So yeah, um, you wouldn't, <laughs> you might fall down through this if you were hooking up your trailer. So maybe a cover on this would be pretty good for hooking up your Susie's. And we have the air deflector up on the top. I think that's made out of stainless steel. And the two side air deflectors here as well. They actually make the sleeper look bigger than it actually is. Uh, the way that they're integrated into the sleeper. But still quite nicely done. So walking around the rear. Now they're not the original rear taillights. They would have been a different design from new. We have two airbags on the back axle. And two airbags on the second axle as well. So yeah, it should be comfortable on the road. Hopefully, we'll see. And the two steps to climb up and your second diesel tank. And we have more storage here on the passenger side. So that's quite good. And a lamp there. And in behind here is our night heater. So yeah, let's close that up. And we do have storage in at the passenger steps as well. You can lift up that to store more items. So let's just have one uh, look again, just from back here, and yeah, they do look quite well. But uh, <laughs> as I would say, uh, you wouldn't get this into a lot of the places I would be going into in Ireland. They'd run you out of the place. So where are you going with that big truck? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, very good in America, where they have loads of space, but not in Ireland. Uh, we have our Peterbilt mat. Now you see we have a clutch pedal, even though there is an auto box in it. Uh, that's only for starting off in first gear and for putting it into reverse. And the carpet finish and the textile finish on the seats. Uh, we have an armrest at either side. So we have winding windows for the driver and electric windows for the passenger side. So uh, yeah, that's a handy little window as well for looking out on your right hand side. So that is the Eaton Fuller Auto Box. We even have volume up and down here as well. So. Uh, and your trailer brake and parking brake, ashtray here. Now, 
it is a truck of many, many gauges. Uh, I counted 22 gauges in total. And yeah, just for your indicator. And you pull out here for your hazard switch. Okay, so let's go down through the gauges. So we've got an amp gauge here for the battery. Uh, exhaust temperature, air suspension. Um, so that is, these two gauges are for your oil for the back axle. So your differential oil and for, uh, main transmission oil up here. And then we have fuel gauges left and right, PSI gauge, voltage gauge, air pressure, manifold PSI here. Uh, over here, can I get the camera in? We have air pressure, we have water temperature, we have another water temperature gauge here, and we have a air filter gauge, or sorry, fuel filter, and your air cleaner gauge here. We have our speedo, rev counter, engine oil temperature, oil PSI and your clock. So I think that's everything <laughs> on the gauge front and your air conditioning here and the Eaton Fuller. Uh, all your fan controls and cruise control here as well. And over here all of your exterior lights and your windscreen washers, more lamp switches up there as well. So yeah, that's how it looks on the dashboard. So let's just hop into the rear. A uh, bit awkward getting your leg in around there, but when you do hop into the rear, there is plenty of space. Even underneath the bunk here, we have more storage space. And the bunk itself, very, very wide. Quite a wide bunk. Um, even if you were to compare it to, say, a Volvo XXL in Europe, uh, the XXL, I'd say, would be coming to about here. So you've still all of this extra space. So it is quite nicely done and up here we have the gas and uh, yeah a little sink here so there's no water it's just a, a, a vent there for the exterior just to vent out all the hot air and more storage cabinets up here and storage up there and there's another vent out there as well a lamp and more storage there your night heater controls and up there so yeah, you can see for yourself loads of storage in the truck, even down here. Store all of your clothing. And if I move over to the other side, we have the same again. Uh, this would be for putting your gas cylinder for your little cooker there. And up on top there as well, more storage. So yeah, uh, I don't often get to do this kind of shot where I'm standing way back like this uh, in behind the two front seats. So that's quite good. And all the wood look finish all around the dashboard. So with all the functions that we have, we don't even have one single function on the steering wheel itself. And the steering wheel is not even leather covered. So yeah, they kind of held back on some of the features for the steering wheel. And in at the back of that cover is your cabin air filter and the cup holder there as well. So yeah, I think it's time to hop inside the driver's seat, start it up, and see what it sounds like. Off we go in the Peterbilt. So we're gonna put it into drive. We're starting off in second gear and just going to close that little window. There we go. So clutch pedal for first gear and off we go. Now we don't have any power steering. Are we going to... Uh, he said I leave the clutch pedal out a fair amount before it starts to bite. Yeah, there we are. So yeah, the <laughs> we don't have any power steering guys. Nice and slow. Yeah. Yeah, those mirrors are very handy out in front. As I said, they give you a good vision of the front of the truck. So, ah, oh. <laughs> the steering is heavy. That's for sure. I'll get lighter as we drive on. So yeah, that is a uh, very weird <laughs> driving a truck that has a big bonnet out the front of it. I've driven the Scania T-Cab, 
Oh yeah, the brakes are quite good. Out with the clutch pedal again. Still in second gear. Okay. <laughs> you barely have to touch the brakes at all and it comes down hard. So uh, yeah, we're going nice and easy out of here, guys. Yeah, I think we're okay now. Off we go. Come on, there we go. Yeah. Now the ear horn. Okay. Yeah. Off we are. <laughs> oh yeah, she's moving along quite nicely. We're down a bit of a country road. It does sound good with those stacks out the back. Oh, she uh, she picked up nicely there for speed. Of course, we have no trailer on, so it's going to be quite fast anyway. Go a bit easy down the road here now. Yeah, can you imagine doing long haul on this truck? Huh? I won't go for a long spin, just a short spin. But the gearbox, it changes speed probably around the same speed as a ZF box around that speed yeah so the seat I would imagine that the seat sponge has probably worn out a fair amount it's gone a bit flat the seat but uh, the mileage is reading 834,000 miles so quite a lot of mileage on the Peterbilt 450 horsepower Okay, we we'll press it on another bit here now. Oh, it really takes off in eighth gear there. <laughs> yeah, you can feel the extra pull. But there it does feel like there's a lot of uh, vibration on the front axle. Oh, this is quite a weird feeling, guys. Driving an American Peterbilt for the first time. I've never driven one of these trucks before. So this is a uh, quite a nice experience. So what's your favorite American truck, guys? Comment below. Is it Peterbilt? Is it Mack? Is it Freightliner? What's your favorite American truck? Well, today I'm gonna say Peterbilt <laughs> because I'm driving one, okay? But yeah, I'm... It wouldn't really take you long to get used to the bonneted truck. Yeah, with those mirrors, I think it's very good. So they're a definite must to have out in front of your truck. Man, the exhaust sounds nice. It really does. to pull it with, with a load just to see what sort of power it really does have with 450 horses with a caterpillar engine but the gearbox is changing gear quite smoothly the windscreen is very narrow and the visibility out the side is pretty small as well the mirrors are okay not as good as European mirrors. Wide angle ones are pretty good. But yeah, the driving position is okay. Uh, the pedals are quite well positioned. The clutch pedal is sticking out a bit too far. But yeah, this, uh, okay. More power, come on. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but the comfort on the back axle isn't too bad. It's just the front axle. There is a bit of banging, all right. But yeah, that has been quite a nice drive. Apart from the steering. The steering is very, very heavy. Oh yeah, will you hoot the horn? <laughs> There's no air horn, guys. No air horn here. All right, guys. Uh, 
that's just about it. I can't really get it up to speed, so I'm gonna turn around and go back to Joe Curran's with the Peterbilt. Peterbilt back into the dealership here. Now, I would tell him to hoot the air horn only, it's not working. Give it a couple of more revs. <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> and the Peterbilt is all parked up. Just two more trucks to show you. So we have the Mercedes Arox here, the 2643. Brand new, and we have the Palfinger crane out the back, the 6x4. But just look at the rear mud guards here. So these are height adjustable. So you just move out the timber here, and you can adjust the height of your rear mud guard. I've not seen that before. So that is quite unusual piece of design on the back of the Arox. And then we have another Mercedes Arox here, the 3240, the 8x4 tipper. So there are just a couple of the new trucks here at Joe Kern Commercials. If you want to come on by and test drive your Mercedes trucks, they're all here. So quite a big dealership here at Joe Kern Commercials. They also do CVRT, tachograph calibration, servicing of all the trucks, and also spraying of trucks is all done here. And we also have the Mercedes Actros, the 1851. This is from 2012. So that just about wraps me up at Joe Kearns. I do hope you enjoyed the video, driving the Peterbilt, finally getting behind the wheel of an American truck for the channel. So guys, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching. Cheers! And we have a bunch of spectators here to look at the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Television. <laughs> Are we <in> <laughs> Yeah, you will be. <laughs>